Did you know that WordPress has over 59,000 free plugins that you can install inside of WordPress? With that many plugins, it's hard for a lot of people to know which ones are necessary and which ones aren't when it comes to what they should install into their website. Well, I'm here to help you out with that today. I'm gonna to share my top four WordPress plugins that I think every business owner should have installed inside of their WordPress site. So let's go. As you know, WordPress is an extremely popular way to make websites on the web today. In fact, WordPress powers over 40% of all websites on the internet. That's pretty impressive. Along with that impressive number is the number of plugins that are available for WordPress alone. According to WordPress, there's over 59,000 free plugins that you can install inside of WordPress. And that's not to mention the countless thousands of plugins that you can actually pay for that have even more premium features. With how many plugins are available for WordPress, it can be really hard for people to know which plugins are worth installing and which ones aren't. So I'm gonna get into the top four plugins that I would recommend every business owner have. And the very first one that I'm going to recommend is from Elegant Themes, and that is Divi. So as you know, when you have a WordPress site, you have a theme that kind of puts a skin on all of your website pages and your posts. And there are lots of different themes. Not all themes are made the same. There are tons of free ones. WordPress comes out of the box with a lot of free themes. But if you just wanna be able to have some extra control and make your website look stunning, there is no better plugin theme than Divi in my opinion. Now, I know a lot of you may be thinking of Elementor, Beaver Builder, which are all great, but I think when it comes to the number of features that you get, as well as the support and the updates that these guys do, it's really hard to come close to the support and the features and the functionality that Divi from Elegant Themes provides. Now, even though Divi's first on my list, it is important to know that it is a paid premium plugin. And they actually have two things that I would recommend paying for. So if you go to Divi, you can go ahead and pay for Divi as the theme that comes with the Divi theme and the builder, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment but they've also come out with this brand new Divi AI, which is a layered functionality that can be added on top of Divi, which I just literally find incredible. What you get with this is that it has the ability to build you layouts using an AI prompt. And the thing that I find the most useful is that you can use it to actually create images right then and there in your blog editor or your page editor. And I'm actually gonna show that to you. So here I am inside of a dummy page inside of our website, which is running Divi, just so I can show you some of the cool functionality that Divi has and why I just really recommend this theme to anyone that I come across. So what I love about Divi is you can actually edit right on the front end. And what I mean by that is it's very click and drag um, sort of interface, and they are updating this. It's gonna be much more kind of Gutenberg looking, but it's not gonna change the functionality of how easy it is to use this. So for example, things are in columns, rows, and modules. And with rows, I literally can add a new row anywhere on my page. I can quickly pick how many columns I want on the row. So let's just say I wanna create a full width row. I could click this full width row, and then I have all these modules that Divi comes with out of the box. Things like accordions, um, bar counters, animatable circle counters, call to action sections, a code section if you know what you're doing and you wanna put some code in, um, comments, contact form, all sorts of things. Let's pick an image section because I wanna show off some of the AI capability that Divi has. And again, I need to make sure that you understand you have to pay for the additional AI layer on top of Divi, but you can pay an annual amount just like you can for the theme. I'm pretty sure Divi even has a one-time fee that you can pay to own the theme forever, uh, which is also really cool. And you can put it on multiple websites that you own. So let's go ahead and click an image module just so I can show you how this works. And when the image module comes up, it's literally just click and drag. Um, one thing I love about Divi is all the settings are in sliders. So I don't ever have to type in CSS manually or worry about code. This theme is made for people that don't know how to code or that just don't want to code like myself. I, I wanna do the least amount of coding as possible. <laughs> so this theme has been really great for me. But for example, if I pick an image inside of here, um, let's just pick an image I have right here. Once I have the image inside of Divi, I can also kind of lock these windows and put them in different places on my um, window to just see how the page is gonna look as well as see the settings that I have. So inside of image here, you can see I have all these settings for alignment, sizing. If I feel like the image is too big, I can size it down, which is literally clicking and dragging. I can change it to center. I can make it right or left. 
you just have so much power inside of this builder. But what is really cool is, for example, if I had this image module and I didn't have an image, or if I just want to stop paying for a stock photo account at like iStock Photo or Deposit Photos or any place like that, Divi has AI that it can leverage to make images right here on your pages and posts. And so right here, I can click AI, and this is really cool. I have a lot of content on this page, but Divi could actually read this content and make an image that it thinks would be relevant based on the words of my content, or I can prompt it with a you know, prompt to get a picture that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and prompt it just so I can show you guys how this works. So I can say generate with AI, and I have a couple of options here inside of Divi AI. I can pick photo, 3D render, concept art. They have a couple of different options here that you can pick. So I'm gonna go ahead and click painting, and I'm going to just put in a simple prompt here to get an idea of a photo that I want. So I'm just gonna put a prompt in here that says um, an image of a mushroom in a forest. And we'll just go ahead. I could upload a reference image if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click squares, the ratio. I could go landscape or portrait or even a custom size if you have a very specific aspect ratio that you wanna put on this. And I'm gonna click generate. And what Divi's gonna do, very similar to like mid journey, it's gonna create a couple different versions of the photo and I can pick the one that I like or tell it to re-roll. Okay, so Divi created me some images and let's just say I like this one. It's a little weird. It's made mushrooms into trees. I can click that and I can click use this image. And what it's gonna do is add it to my media library inside of WordPress. So I have access to this image to put on any post or page that I want. And then boom, right here in the builder, I have created an AI image that is not copyrighted that I can use in my website very quickly. I didn't have to spend a lot of time looking for an image on iStock Photo or anything like that. So I love that functionality. Some other really cool things you can do with Divi, for example, with the AI integration that it has, I can actually have it help me to write some content which I would want to use as kind of a starting point. I would definitely want to change it myself and change it so that it's not a copy paste from Divi, but it can at least get the juices of creation and creativity flowing in your brain. So for example, where we just created this image, if I wanted some text on the right of this, first of all, I'm just going to turn this module or row into a two column row, and I'm going to add the text module here. So inside of this module where the text is, I'm just going to get rid of this text and I'm going to click the AI button right here and I'm going to write with AI. And I'm going to say, um, write two paragraphs about how mushrooms thrive in a forest environment. And I'm going to hit generate text. And what it's going to do is spit this out and put it right here inside of my text module here. So I can click use this text. And now I have some text right here as a placeholder. I'm definitely going to want to go in here, make changes to it, probably rewrite it just because Google is really valuing human written content right now, but this gives me a good idea and it's great for design because you can put placeholder text on a page as you're finalizing the actual look, feel, and messaging of a page as you design it. Another really cool thing with Divi is it can use this AI to actually come up with its own page layout, which is fantastic from a designer standpoint because it just helps you to really get some ideas quickly out there with placeholders and it can just kind of get you over that hurdle of designer's block when you're just having a hard time coming up with some ideas. So check this out. If I click on new page, what Divi is going to prompt me to do is either create my own or I can generate it with AI. So I'm going to kind of show you how this works. So it's going to give me three options. The first one is to build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout, which by the way, Divi has tons of pre-made layouts to just get you going on a page, or this is their latest technology here, where you can build a page with AI and it will create images, text, layout, everything just kind of helps speed you up. So let's go ahead and click generate layout with AI. And right here, it's gonna ask me what sort of page do I wanna create? So I'm gonna say, let's for example, say I run a restaurant. I wanna create a restaurant page that shows my menu of hamburgers. So I'm gonna type in a prompt like that for this page. Okay, so I wrote in a prompt here that says, create a restaurant menu page that goes over all of the different hamburger options that we offer. And then Divi asked for, you know, tell us a little bit about your website. So I just said, we offer gourmet hamburgers. And I'm literally going to click generate layout. And Divi's gonna take that information and come up with a unique layout with AI images, AI text, everything. So just watch what it does. 
Okay, so it just created this layout for me, which honestly looks pretty great. It's a great starting point, right? So it created this delight in every bite hero section with a button to see the menu. It even came up with some actual menu items with pricing here, which of course I would update. Um, it came up with a section here with kind of a call to action section with this own background image. So as you can see, as a business owner who wants to save time, this is why I recommend Divi. It just makes things a lot simpler and takes a lot of that hard coding work out of things when it comes to creating images, text, and placement for things on your site. And they just have great support. Now I am not affiliated with Elegant Themes or Divi in any way. I just really think they've made a really great product and I would recommend it to all of you guys. Now before we get on to the next one, I just wanna put in a quick plug for our Do It For You SEO content strategy services. When it comes to SEO, the biggest challenges that businesses face is number one, having the expertise to know what they're supposed to do, and number two, staying consistent. Google is a hungry algorithm that rewards companies that consistently post high quality content. Well here at BKA Content, we do all of that for you every single month. We'll create a custom strategy based on what your website needs, and then we'll fulfill that strategy month after month and give you reporting to show the results that we're getting. So if you're ready to add a second stream of traffic to your website outside of paid ads, go to bkacontent.com. The second plugin that I would recommend has to do with comment spam. Now, when you have a website, you're gonna notice that over time, your comment section is just gonna fill up with tons of spam messages. And it's just really annoying. It takes a ton of time to go through them, get rid of them all. Well, there is a plugin that is free that can help those just worst of the worst comment messages just go away. And that would be the Akismet plugin. So Akismet is a plugin I would trust because it is made by the creators of WordPress Automatic. So the nice thing about Akismet is it's good about killing spam in its track. So that's going to really help you kind of overcome all the spam that's just naturally going to eventually fill up your comment section inside of WordPress on the back end. So I would install this plugin. They do have some paid features that you can pay for. But at its base level, the free plugin does enough that I would absolutely recommend installing this into your WordPress build. Um, really easy to use, and it just kind of works under the radar behind the scenes to make the comment, you know, spam problem a whole heck of a lot less of a headache to deal with. The third plugin that I would absolutely recommend is Google Site Kit by Google. It's really important to make sure that when you look at these plugins, you look at who they are by because there are some knockoffs and people try to trick you into downloading plugins that aren't the real thing. So like it says right here, this site kit will connect analytics, search console, AdSense, and even give you speed test metrics as far as the overall health of how your pages are doing. It's really great because once you have it installed, it actually creates its own menu item on the back end of your WordPress site and gives you a ton of metrics to be able to see how your site is performing, where the traffic is coming from because it is connected to your analytics and your Google search console. So I would absolutely recommend this plugin because you need to make sure that your site is connected to analytics so that it is getting history and getting data so that you can actually make decisions when it comes to which pages are performing, which pages need optimization, and maybe which pages do I need to actually prune or get rid of because they're not really performing or doing what I want them to do. So Google Site Kit, definitely install. Okay, the fourth plugin that I would absolutely recommend every single WordPress site to use is Yoast SEO. So Yoast SEO is made by Team Yoast. It has a ton of installations. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of these plugins or their creators. I just think they've made great products and I wanna be able to share them with you. So Yoast SEO is a great SEO plugin because it makes SEO easy on your WordPress site. Um, I personally like Yoast SEO because it helps me as I build posts and pages to know at the base free level of Yoast what is working, what isn't, is my keyword density good? And I'm gonna show that to you in just a moment. But they do have a premium version, which I honestly pay for because it takes care of things like 301 redirects and stuff like that. And what's so nice about that is if I change the URL structure in the page or post builder, it automatically creates the 301 redirect for me. I don't have to do anything. It's nice that way because I don't accidentally break my SEO or break my links when I make changes. So let me just kind of show you how Yoast SEO integrates into a blog post to give you some helpful insight into how you're doing with your keywords and your SEO in general. 
Okay, so I have a Gutenberg post open here, and you can see inside of this post, I have my content, but on the right-hand side, once you've installed Yoast, it's going to add some readability score and SEO analysis score, which is actually really nice. So this will kind of give me some insight into how is my readability, is it too high of a reading level? Do I need to lessen that? And have I put my keyword in enough or in the right places to make the SEO good enough? So you can see here I'm getting oranges on this post. So this is helping me to know what I need to improve. So what's cool is you can actually click improve your post with Yoast SEO and it will give you more analysis. So on the SEO analysis, I can drill down in this and it can say, hey, you should add synonyms or add related key phrases. If I've been paying for the premium, I can actually get more features here. But at its base level, it's pretty great, right? It's showing that I don't have any outbound links. I don't have enough images on this page. Um, again, this is a draft post. We're not done with it. But I'm just showing you what it's telling me here. The meta description. And then it's also telling me good things, right, about the post and what I could do. I also have the ability to add my focus keyword in here so that it can do the analysis and give me these, that's why I'm getting these oranges on here because it knows what my focus key phrase in. This focus key phrase is not what I want here. This is just an example. I would put an actual real long tailed keyword phrase in there to make these optimizations. And then once I've actually saved and published the post, I can add things like the meta description or change the title so it's more SEO friendly to make sure I have my keyword in there. But what's also really cool about Yoast SEO is on the back end, Yoast SEO does things for you that you don't have to worry about. For example, it will also connect to Google Search Console. It will also connect to your analytics. And there's all these different tools and helps that they give you on how to improve the SEO for your site. So on the back end, it will also show you if it can detect any serious SEO problems. And one thing I love about it too is it creates a site map and automatically updates that and submits that to Google for you so you don't have to worry about that. So it just helps your website. It kind of does all the SEO cleaning on the back end, keeps it working correctly, as well as notifies you and helps you as you build content and pages to make sure that your SEO is in the green when it comes to you know providing value and using your keywords the right way to get some SEO boost in the rankings. So those are the four top plugins that I would recommend to any WordPress site owner. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if it has, please make sure that you click like and subscribe so that as we put out more videos about this sort of thing, you'll be notified when we do. As always, if you have comments or things to share, please add it into the comment section below and we'll see you on the next video.